Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, do any of the types of skepticism logically work? I've touched on skepticism before in a very general sense, addressing the issues that I was seeing with the things that the forms of skepticism often share in common. But today, I'd like to take a few seconds to look at a number of different forms of skepticism individually to see if any of them work. Also, non-philosophical skepticism or mere hesitation in drawing conclusions works just fine, provided you have some criteria under which you'll accept information. But again, I've touched on that before and won't be going over it again soon. This is also known as Cartesian skepticism and is named a bit misleadingly after René Descartes, who was not a skeptic. Academic skepticism is the most extreme type, claiming that knowledge of things is impossible. Of course, this can be disproven by simply asking an academic skeptic if they're able to know that. If not, then the philosophy doesn't exist. If so, then it's disproven. This amounts to the same thing as radical and global, absolute, universal, Pyrrhonian skepticism, ending in the claim that one can't know anything. Local skepticism seems to be a small category of positions, with at least three different varieties contained in that category. Those varieties are moral skepticism, theological skepticism, and metaphysical skepticism. Moral skepticism involves the rejection of moral claims. However, we all know in practice that some actions are worse to do than others. Without some strong evidence to support this claim against the evidence that the guy who mugged you last week was clearly doing something wrong, it simply doesn't work. Theological skepticism is mainly about rejecting claims about God. Still, I did a pretty long series of videos on the arguments for the existence of God, which presents evidence against theological skepticism, so the theological skeptic has to present some kind of counter-argument if they want to prove their point. I've never seen any evidence that claims about God should be rejected. Metaphysical skepticism is about the rejection of metaphysical claims, or claims pertaining to things that aren't merely physical in nature. However, this form of skepticism is the weakest of the three, because the claim, metaphysical skepticism is true, is a metaphysical claim. Therefore, this form of skepticism would forbid a person from believing that it's true, so it refutes itself. There's a form of skepticism called Agrippan skepticism, based on the work of the ancient Greek skeptic Agrippa, who used five tropes to try to defend his position. Serious attempts to defend skepticism are a bit rare, and Agrippan skepticism is notable for that at least, but it concludes in the impossibility of certain knowledge, so all the evidence you bring forth in support of it is weakened as well. In other words, None of the evidence for Agrippan skepticism can be known with any degree of certainty, since Agrippan skepticism denies certain knowledge. Even the amount of certainty that one can have in specific things can't be known with certainty on this view. So in practice, no real knowledge is possible for the Agrippan skeptic, and therefore no evidence is good enough to defend it. However, as a side note, I feel that Agrippa's second trope, that all proof requires some further proof and so on to infinity, loses a lot of its strength if you propose a self-proving proposition, like a tautology, which can be known due to the fact that nothing else is logically possible. That's exactly what I do propose. To sum it up, no form of skepticism can prove anything, including its own claims, because skepticism just doesn't work that way. So, these various forms of philosophical skepticism don't hold up especially well. Next, what makes a logical argument good? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.